Coke sellout and grifter Dave Rubin appeared on Newsmax TV because, of course, he would appear on Newsmax TV. And he decided to give us a sneak preview and a little bit of a taste of what the next stage of his grift might entail. And um, I only speak for myself, but I am incredibly excited if he does, in fact, choose to pursue this route. Take a look. We're all human, John. Yes. I'm actually not quite sure he's human, but I'm only <laughs> half kidding when I say this. I'm only half kidding when I say this. I might run for governor of California. I can't take it anymore. I, I have absolutely had it with this person. And you know what? I was just discussing it with my producer. My, my platform, we're not going to have anything on a website or anything. It's literally going to be if Gavin Newsom says something or wants to do something, my platform is just the complete opposite. This guy is the worst sort of disingenuous, hypocritical buffoon that thinks that he should have power over us. I'm only half kidding when I say this. I might run for governor of California. My brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas. Now, I think that he's only about 25 percent serious about doing this. But let me just say, Dave, if you want to run for governor of California, you have my full support. Like I wouldn't want people to vote for you, but I would want you to run because, oh my God, that would be incredibly entertaining. And he gives us a little bit of a taste of how entertaining it would be by saying, my platform, <laughs> we're not going to have anything on our website uh, or uh, or anything. It's literally going to be of Gavin Newsom. If he says something or wants to do something, my platform is just the complete opposite. Yeah, I mean, that's about what I'd expect. And it would be really, really funny to see you in a debate because you, you have no ideas. Dave Rubin is an intellectual lightweight. Like, he can't even speak to the basics of his political ideology. Like, when he was trying to explain his libertarian ideology to Joe Rogan in a now infamous interview, it was an embarrassment. Like, he hasn't been invited back on since. And it's not like Joe Rogan has really high standards as to who he'd allow on his podcast. But you proved, even to someone like Joe Rogan, that you're, you're kind of an imbecile. Like... It's not just that you're a grifter and a fraud and you don't actually believe the things that come out of your mouth, but you can't even speak to the basics. I mean, you have to be able to have some base of knowledge when it comes to the political ideology that you're espousing, but you don't even have that. Like, you can't even defend libertarians' basics, the basics of libertarianism, I should say, but it's just, it's shocking. Um, now, I will say that he has hinted recently about maybe quitting political commentary now it's unrelated but he basically said that if joe biden serves a full term then uh he would retire from political commentary i'm gonna make a bold statement michael i'm gonna make a bold statement today bold statement here we go if joe biden is sworn in on january 20th 2021 and he completes a four-year term actually completes a four-year term i will retire i will retire at the end of that term. That will be it. I will disappear in just over four years. Four years and about a month and a half. That'll be it. I, that's how convinced. I will just disappear from public life altogether. I will delete all of my accounts and then you'll never hear from me again. That's how convinced I am that it ain't gonna happen. He will not be president for four years. He, just, he either won't be president at all because of the, the election fraud and all that kind of stuff. Um, which, by the way, is gaining momentum. We're not even really covering it that much today, but it is actually gaining momentum. And Giuliani was at a hearing in Arizona today. They found some really bizarre stuff with these mid, you know, these late night 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. vote dumps. I think in Pennsylvania, Rand Paul was tweeting about it this morning. Oops. <laughs> now, he's not saying that, like, he will... Um retire specifically from political commentary and pursue a new career path. He's saying, like, I'll, I'll retire from public life. But this is a hint that, like, quitting has been on his mind. And I think I'm looking way too far into this. But uh, basically, I want to see him run. I think this would be hilarious. He would get demolished. And I will say that, like, in terms of his intellect, I would place him probably within the same category as Louis Gohmert or Marjorie Taylor Greene. Like, I do think that low of him. My opinion of him is, like, below the floor. Um, so it would be funny. But look, I'll, I'll say this. I certainly was not envisioning Dave Rubin's grift to take this turn. You know, when I thought long-term about where his grift would take him, I always expected him to follow a pretty linear path. Like, first, he would basically become ultra-conservative. He's already kind of 
slipping further and further into the far right, but he would take things to the next level and he would renounce his homosexuality, divorce his husband, we'd meet his wife, Peggy. <laughs> I don't know why that name came up. <laughs> Is any woman under 50 named Peggy? I'm not sure, but we, we'd be introduced to his wife, Peggy. Um, he would become an evangelical. It kind of depends on where the conservative movement goes. Um, if it evolves out of Trump, Trumpism and whatnot, maybe he would become an, you know, an ultra conservative individual, but we would, you know, see him take a new turn. He'd become religious, but then once he hits a brick wall there and he's tired of that, he would come out as saying, look, I actually, I don't love Peggy. I love my husband. I actually am a homosexual and I feel as if I was duped by the right wing. And now this is my mea culpa. This is me apologizing to everyone who I've led astray. And I want to be authentic with myself. And then he'd go in the opposite direction where he'd read Marx and say that he is basically a communist at this point. And the grift would go in the opposite direction. And then he might even shift back to the right at some point. Basically, what he's going to do, like the way that we can predict his actions is going to be what is the most lucrative. And right now, being a right winger is truly the more lucrative path. Like if you're a right winger on YouTube, all you got to do is put out like some video about Joe Biden and the deep state and you get like hundreds of thousands of views. So he knows this. He's he's aware of this. But if it is the case that, you know, right wing um, ideology loses favor on the Internet, at least, and, you know, the right wingers lose their stronghold on YouTube... I can honestly envision a shift with Dave Rubin. It just depends. Like, I don't believe that he believes the things that he's saying. I think deep down he's probably more of a liberal, more of a moderate. I don't think he's a far-right individual, but publicly he has to be a far-right person because, I mean, let's face it, the conservative movement right now is batshit fucking insane. They're denying reality, so he has to do that too. He's just parroting whatever the right-wing thing that's popular to say is that's that's dave rubin in a nutshell but having said all of that though i really want him to run for governor i want him to run for anything because i will be all on that shit uh like um like you wouldn't believe it would be hilarious to watch him fumble and run some sort of political campaign where he is completely in over his head please make it happen dave please beta, beta, beta. amazon and drones and blah 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 Brain, brain. Beta. Alpha male, not a beta male.